What a brain chip from Elon Musk can do. What a new company he opens next. Robots in the theater. The coolest underwater robots. Artificial intelligence. Tracking drone pilots. And other high-tech news. Elon Musk revealed some of the capabilities of the Neuralink 4.0 chip, answering questions on his Twitter. So according to Musk, the implantable Neuralink chip will allow you to listen to music directly from your brain, as well as help control hormone levels and other biochemical mediators to improve the physical and mental well-being. The chip implementation will be fully automated and only slightly more complex than laser vision corrections. Today, Neuralink actively employs specialists in robot technology histology, and wearable devices. The details of the device for the effective symbiosis of human and artificial intelligence Musk promised to reveal 28 August. In the meantime, Musk is going to start a major insurance company specifically for Tesla's clients. The insurance plan will be selected individually by intelligent algorithms, evaluating each driver's driving style. Moreover, the neural networks will also advise drivers on how to reduce their tariffs. For the first time, SpaceX was able to return both parts of its missile nose fairing to the ground using ships equipped with special nets. This was another milestone in reusable rocket technology and saved the company approximately $6 million. By the way, during the last launch, which took place on July 20th, the 57th successful landing of the first stage of the launch vehicle was made. Acrobats of the Swedish theater group created the production of The Last Fish but officials did not like the use of the big industrial manipulator ABB in the production. They demanded that the performance be shut down, demanding that the same security measures be used on stage as the industrial enterprise, i.e., the robot must work in a cage and the human being must not interact physically with it either. Artists went to court and won. The group worked with the robot company Dino Robotics to program the manipulator and learn to interact with it as safely as possible. The robot is now the eighth member of their troop. The Aquanaut robotic transformer escaped from NASA's pool into open water and underwent a series of tests. The Aquanaut is a versatile robot capable of acting as an automated submersible or robotic arm. The robot is equipped with multiple sensors for environmental perception and its own safety systems which decide what to do with this data. In submersive mode, the Aquanaut can travel up to 200 kilometers in a single mission, mapping the seafloor and verifying the structure of vast areas while controlling the vertical thrust and inspecting the surrounding space with a 360-degree rotating head unit. Transforming into a two-armed robot, the Aquanaut is capable of performing complex manipulations without remote controls, with the operator giving the commands with a simple click. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and Facebook AI Research have created a common sense navigation system for robots. The navigation system, called SEMP EXP, uses the principle of machine learning to teach the robot to recognize objects and understand where in the house what objects may be. According to researchers, it allows the machine to think strategically and turn on its head. This common sense tells you that if you're looking for a refrigerator, you'd better go to the kitchen rather than the toilet. The Cassie robot has reached its limits. The truth is only the speed of movement. Having learned to walk at an average speed of 2.1 meters per second, researchers say that this is the maximum speed for the robot as of today. Robot Spirit 40 from Ghost Robotics can bring a pair of bags of coal for a barbecue weighing more than 10 kilograms, and it's also able to keep balance sometimes in unstructured terrain, but it does not know how to turn from back to stomach. It's a good thing he doesn't need this skill, because he's symmetrical. The Leo robot from FNP Robotics is a mobile robotic platform with a multifunction manipulator especially designed to interact with the person and help him maintain his daily tasks. The robot is already deployed in several medical facilities, where it operates autonomously, helping staff and patients on a daily basis. The mobile personal robot is able to recognize and communicate with people, move independently, and take and transport objects on its own, react to voice commands, and entertain people. Researchers from Israel have developed a neural network capable of finding the drone operator. The accuracy of the algorithm is currently over 80%. 
The system analyzes the trajectory and features of the drone, comparing it with a map of a specific area, such as an airport. The neural network detects the tiniest features of the drone's flight and makes an assumption when it's within sight of its operator and when it leaves or is closed by an obstacle. This data helps to assume the location of the operator. The 18-meter high Japanese robot made its first steps. The parameters of the still headless robot are being compiled. Height, more than 18 meters. Distance from wrist to fingertip, almost 2 meters. Together with its head, the robot will weigh about 25 tons. The developers are talking about 24 degrees of freedom of limbs of the giant. This means the robot will be able to move around almost any terrain without any problems. The United Arab Emirates were the first Arab countries to launch the machine on Mars. With the help of the AI Amal and the researchers are going to study the weather formation on the red planet during the year. It was launched from the Japanese spaceport on the island of Tanegashima. Designed by Arab scientists and engineers, the probe should reach the planet by 2021. China has also launched its mission to Mars with the first Mars rover on board. The sixth wheels Tianwen-1 robot will spend several months orbiting the planet while Chinese engineers study the weather conditions for the safest landing. The Mars rover will study the geology of the region at surface and shallow depths. Tianwen-1 weighs about 240 kilograms and is powered by solar panels. It has a camera for surveying and navigating on its mast, and there are five tools on board to assess the composition of local rocks and find water in ice. The rover is only half of the mission. As the spacecraft is bringing it to Mars, we'll also study the planet from orbit using a set of seven remote sensing instruments. Fieldwork Robotics and Bosch are developing a robot to collect soft fruit, vegetables, and berries, raspberries in particular. The device uses multiple cameras for a global look at the bushes and recognize the berries, while local increase the awareness of the manipulators and support the assembly process. Artificial intelligence software evaluates the ripeness, size, color, and number of other berry parameters, as well as the number of berries left on the bush. Russian company 3D Bioprinting Solutions will develop technology to create chicken meat for KFC using a 3D bioprinter. This autumn, it is planned to create laboratory nuggets, keeping them as close as possible in taste, texture, and appearance. For 3D bioprinting, we'll be using chicken cells and raw plant materials. The meat will have the same micronutrient content, but with no additives allowed in traditional farming nor any animal abuse. Americans were struck by the Soviet walking excavator. The video about the ESH-645 excavator, which corroded but is still walking along the quarries of the Hordonsky Mining and Processing Combine, was caught by the editors of the Drive American website. They made the 280-ton car a star on YouTube. The Soviet S-645 ESH was created in 1979. A total of six units were made. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. Don't miss any new videos about the most perfect robots in the world of future technology.